<laughs> All right, so I, I've been using a tight end apprentice in um near Jumbo and far tight slots uh, on the west coast, and that got me to looking at what other heavy sets would tight end apprentice work with. And I took a look back at some some setups that were on playbook.gg last year for the LA Chargers wing tight because you, you got X post in there, you, uh, and that has that pat sale post. So I figured let's see what we can make out of this. and Man, the LA Chargers offense is amazing. So this is the first game I'm, I'm using it. I'm going up against the Vikings. This guy, Bear Chugger 72. We've actually played each other before. He's really good. So when I saw his name, I said, oh, shit. This wasn't exactly who I wanted to play my first game with this with this offense. I only lapped it for about an hour. 30 minutes last night, 30 minutes this morning. But I said, okay, I'm familiar enough with pair and tight. So that's cool. But um, I also use single back doubles. And gun, I want to say it was... Trips Y flax or Y off something like that. You'll we'll see in a minute. But th those two are brand new to. I hadn't used either one of those before today. But um, simple set, sim simple setup, simple route. So you know it's just about common sense. So here we go. Let's see what we do on our first game. Um, I was losing my audibles. So I, this I, I'm so unfamiliar with the offense. I didn't have my audibles right. So I almost took a penalty on this first this first possession. But I decided to just quick snap a dive and what the hell. I think I got a yard or two. Let's see. Yeah, I got it off for one second left. Yeah, it looks like I got a yard. Two yards, two yards. Okay, I'll take that. So now I'm ready. Now I think I could run a play. I, I ended up with um, tight end wing. I meant to do fullback wing because I put Matt Breida out there for obvious reasons. Um, and then and then I have Kittle line up next to him. But I have tight end wing right now. I didn't realize it until I got in game. But that's okay. I mean, Kittle will do. He, he's not bad, right? So here we go. I'm switching... I'm coming out in, in wing pair so that I can get the fullback wing. That's the intention there. And that's where I realized I had Kittle where I wanted um where I wanted Breeder. So I motioned in Kittle out. And what I wanted to do with A, which is where Kittle's supposed to be, was to, I was supposed to put him on a trail. But we adjust. And the, the in route was open. Pick up an easy few yards. So I'll move on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to switch it to fullback wing right fast though. So let's see. There we go, fullback wing. Now Breeders in position. That's the way it's supposed to look. All right, so I'm coming out and dive. Pretty sure I'm coming out and dive here. I'm not gonna dive though. I don't think. Third and four. No, I'm gonna hit that stretch. I'm gonna hit that stretch. I'm gonna hit that slant. The stretch alert, because he's playing off. I, I can pick up four yards. And Goodwin's fast. You, if he if he gets a little bit of space, he can take a stretch to the house. But he made a good tackle. So I got the first down. That's all I needed. And let's see where we at. I was having some connectivity issues. Yeah, that's what happens when you game on PC, I suppose. All right, so here we go. Doubles. I'm setting up my, my um, audibles for doubles now. I thought about PA draw shot, but it takes too long to develop. It was really good last year. It takes too long to develop. T post I'll use for sure. Um, PA wide corner. That goal line fade could be dangerous at the goal line, no joke. Um, but I won't be using it. All right, so let's run a stretch the first play. Why not? See what this stretch is about. Yeah, and he actually had the head. I had the edge. I just did a good job cutting back, so I ended up picking up four yards there. Now I'm gonna set my gun audibles because I, I I like what I got between these two formations. I think it could really be something good. This this shotgun formation here has some passes. It was actually hard for me to choose which ones I wanted to put in my audibles. Because I'm not gonna be coming out in this match. I'm gonna be coming out in the in the single back more often than not. But that slot fork has to get in there. That thing, um, all I do on that is block the running back, and it's it's amazing. But this smash is beautiful too. I just um, I changed Kittle's route to an apprentice post. According currently he's on a post. I just changed it to an apprentice post. Right, right here I, I changed it to a cross, which does just the same. But that hitch is gonna get open a lot. You you gonna have to you gonna have to make adjustments to to get to that hitch. And when you start hard flattening all that. Welcome to my world. You're in trouble once you start doing that. So, I'll take the hitch all day if you don't do it. I'll take it. Now, I think I think I went with that um, PA scene or whatever it's called out of out of pair here. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I changed it up. This one. This one. This was a go-to play of mine last year. I would either drag B and keep A on his route with Axe, or I would put B on the flat. I'll be on the wheel behind him and have the drag and the and um the tight end coming across the same way so it was either three routes or five routes so that that one's a go-to I, I like having that in there 
and then we all know that the dive and even the inside um zone out of this if, if that defense is unbalanced you can smoke them uh, where are we going here did i call a timeout here or did i just oh i ran the inside zone yeah and that's why i was saying it i thought i did there we go Man, that was a nice pickup that was a nice pickup three rushes for 24 yards and I, I want to try to get in a few of the pass plays um but like i said i mean i, I labbed it up for an hour so some of it's the freestyling to be completely honest just going off the top oh this is the setup i like um playbook tg has something similar but they motioned over y but the thing is i motion x for the run so i just put y on the in and x on the hitch so it's this it's the same concept the absolute same concept and i'm pretty sure x was easy hit here and i should have threw it to a matter of fact had he clicked on sooner he probably would have picked that off so that was a bad read um kittle was wide open for, for a touchdown as a matter of fact but we have the goal line um now this is what i'm gonna have to check out is my goal line um offense because i actually had a really nice goal line setups in in west coast i mean i i felt confident every time i got down there Right now, when I was playing this game, I hit the goal line. And I was like, I'm just going to dive. I'm going to dive three times in a row, four times in a row, and hopefully I get in. So, fortunately, I got in the first time, and I didn't have to worry about it. But I, I'm definitely going to get in. Once I get back in the lab, I'm going to lab some, some goal line stuff. And it's going to involve a lot of running, of course. Let's not be, let's not be foolish. we got to run at the goal line. But I, li I like to have some little throws in there. I got I to gotta throw out a goal line that I've been using since M19, and it's still rocking right now. I mean, I, I score a touchdown or two a game with this thing. Well, if I get to the goal line enough, using that far tight slot, you know, you don't actually spend a lot of time at the goal line. Believe it or not, that the, I, we got some thoughts out of that thing, boy. One, one play touchdowns and shit. It, that, 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 that offense is nice. I never even use um bunch when I'm in West Coast. I don't need to. That those two back sets in in, in West Coast is amazing. But anyway, this ain't about West Coast. This is the Chargers offense, and I think I'm gonna rock this for a minute. I like this. And those of y'all that know me, you know I changed my offense. God damn near every week but i think i'm gonna rock with this Chargers one for a minute i really like this and this tight end apprentice i've been sleeping on it man this is the first time i'm using it it's it's really badass so here we go oh on defense oh man this guy he he got he, he was unlucky on offense i'm almost wondering if he was labbing too because i i, I feel like when i played him before he was a little better than this they, he, he threw me a pick he must have thought i was gonna be able to get into position because i jumped to be completely honest I might have to try that on purpose sometime. That was accidental. I was still setting up audibles. And he, he snapped while I was setting up audibles. But I'll take it. You know, to be completely honest, if I, if I was ready, I would have picked that anyway. So the ball never lies, right? But no, the ball always lies in Maddie. Don't judge me. All right, so here we go. Yeah, this is one of those those setups from Playbook GG last year. Um, I don't think they in routed the, the backside, but I mean, yeah, whatever. It doesn't take brains to do that. There we go. There's a cross one. Huh? Yeah, that's easy. That boy Yusak can block. Yusak, that's how you say his name, I believe. More he can block. Did I run this? I don't really like that guy over there. I'm running it, yeah, for sure. I shouldn't have run that. No, I shouldn't have run that. I like to dive here when I can cut back or when the, the middle is obviously open. There was no cut back because the dude was standing over there on the edge. Yeah, that dude right there. See, I'm not going to do it again. I'm not that stupid. What am I going to here? Oh, here we go. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to set it up real fast. I'm going to do the three-route one because I don't have a lot of time. You got to block that. What are you doing? You got to call a timeout. You got to call a timeout. Oh, you know what happened? I was looking for X-Post. I didn't put X-Post in my audibles. And X-Post is the reason I'm in the Chargers offense. Let me tell you, I definitely need to get more comfortable with this offense, man. I'm out here. I shouldn't even jumped in the game yet. That was foolish. But it worked out for me. I mean, I don't think I missed the pass. I don't think I missed a single draw the whole game. Here we go. We're going to set up that expos. And this is straight from GG. I end up putting B on a on a slant. You don't see it. Oh, yay. The, the, the motion snap has been weird lately, huh? But anyway, that post gets easy money right there. Easy money right there. I mean, the spacing, the spacing in, in, in these, these offenses, these Chargers offenses is nice. And see what happens. Usually when I see people in these sets, these wing tight, wing pin, all this shit. Man, I lick my chops because most people don't know how to run it. Most people, all they do is the uh, TE attack where the tight end comes up with the middle. Man, any half-decent player is going to get about five interceptions playing versus somebody in these sets. But, man, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I run it entirely different. My routes come from everywhere, and I space it out. As a matter of fact, I used TE attack once this game. 
and I actually set it up more like a, a Z spot or something like that out of bunch. You'll see. As a matter of fact, it's the last touchdown. It makes dude quit. I was the next touchdown. Yeah, there's only one touchdown left. We, we're talking about um, four minutes, four minutes left. We just got to run some more defense. Um, and I'm shutting him down again now. He switches to bunch. And I got a little bunch set up. Um, I think playbook GG again. They they were doing something with like cover three, cover three match out of um, one of them three, four sets. I think it was. But it was basically just pressing everybody down and then putting the, the middle third safety on a deep half over the bunch. So I do that out of four, six because I like four, six. And it works. You, you see, I got to stop there. That should have been a pick as a matter of fact. And now he comes again with another one. And I do it again one more time. Oh, the time he runs it. And th and this is why I like 4-6, man. For th th these guys, you, you ain't running all these guys, man. Get out of here. Do something different. Third and ten. Come bring it. Does he stay in bunch? Yeah, he stays in bunch. I hate when somebody does bunch three times in a row because you'll be like, man, what are you about to do? My camera keeps doing this specifically when I'm setting up this defense. Fortunately, he set up a lot of audible, so it allowed me to get it back right. But usually when it happens to me, I end up having to try to play defense from that angle, and fuck, it's hard as hell. So here we go. He actually hits dude here. No, no, he goes for it on fourth down. Yeah. This, man, I thought he caught that. I was so pissed. I mean, Rudolph's an animal, but come on, man. D -d -d these throwing things up for prayers on third and long shit. That ain't decent. So that was good defense. Um, Yeah, he goes for it on empty. So I'm about to get into dollar. And when I'm in dollar, I like to bring everybody down and set up this thing right quick. I put a spy out there. Only just one, though, because it's Kirk Cousins. I didn't really even need it, but... To be honest, I got enough coverage on the field, it don't matter. And he don't know what I'm doing. I inverted that other side. So let's see. Yeah, I stopped him like inches short on fourth down. So I'm sure he's mad about that, but that's life, bro. You're going for the fourth down, you gotta you gotta be sure. And we all miss sometimes. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely about to score here. Not yet, though. I think it's about three plays or something. Let's see. Here we go, run it again. Yeah, that run wasn't nothing. That's good stuff. Yeah, I couldn't have bounced it back. You see, he ran that pinch blitz, so that safety was coming down the outside. When I see that safety come down, I shouldn't be running that dive play. If I, maybe I want to stretch to the other side, but I shouldn't be running that dive. That's just stubborn. But the more you, the more you run the offense, the more you you start remembering those things. Cause I, I ran it a little bit last year, and I was like, yeah, no, that's that's not happening. I didn't run it a lot though. I was in jumbo most of the year last year. I'm coming right back to that setup. This setup, man, I, I'm glad it two minute one kicked in though. Because to be honest, I had to flip the play. The spacing on this is ridiculous, and that's why I like this doubles and that that shotgun set that I was using. I still can't remember what it's called, but the spacing on these routes is is, man. All you gotta do is all you gotta do is open your eyes and you can you can hit somebody. So I'm gonna block my running back. I'm gonna put B on an in, which is I'm gonna motion him over so he's gonna be an out. And then you got A and um the next dude, A and X coming over here. The, the space is ridiculous. I end up hitting B, but I should have hit X. I'm just now seeing that Goodwin was he would have walked in a touchdown. But since I'm labbing, it's a good thing I didn't, because he he quits when I score again. So had I scored there. I wouldn't have been able to show y'all this setup that I do in a few minutes, man. The the um the Z spot type of setup out of out of gun tight. That this I mean wing tight, single back wing tight. So here we go. Oh, I like this play. I I do like this play, this smash play. I think he played the hitch on this one, and I end up hitting Kittle because I put Kittle on the post. Yeah, no, he was actually he was actually playing Kittle, but he thought Kittle was gonna break to the corner, and I seen him going that way, so I just threw right behind his his user. I was pretty brave. I was pretty brave. But I seen I seen his numbers. I seen the back of his jersey. Those numbers. If I see that, I'm throwing it behind you, bro. Ain't no linebacker turning around on Kittle like that. Here we go. This is the touchdown. So watch the setup. It, it's, it says tight end attack, but it's the complete opposite. A tight end attack comes over the middle. I'm going to the sidelines. You see this? And I'm going to put Axe on a drag. Bro, I'm running bunch setups. <laughs>